to cover the topic now of how to use the Telestar uh, Sat Plus meter to align a satellite dish. Okay, so the first step of this is just to arrow over as far as the TP search. So you can just see here the little icon for satellite dish, and I just press the OK button. And I come along anyway, and the very first satellite that I have on this particular list is the Astra 2, okay? So this is the same satellite that's used for Sky, FreeSat, etc. So just go OK. And when we go in here, we'll see there's a number of um, um, menus on the top anyway. The first thing is the actual uh, satellite, Astra 2. You can see you can change it from inside here, we'll say the Astra 1 or Hotbird or um, Searsat, whatever. And then the next one here is you can come down along and uh, the transponder. And there's a pre-programmed uh, transponder list, and if we just go to the very end of the list, we can see there's 77 transponders in it. So we just have a preset in the first one here, um, and that actually is the transponder for uh, Channel 4, I believe. And now over on the other side then, we have the LMB and the DISEC ports. And basically, they, they just leave them as they are, okay, in your standard setup. So the readings that would take off and how we use this meter when we're doing the alignment. Well, the first thing we'd look at is the S and the Q. So S is for um, uh, signal strength, and Q is for signal quality. Okay, so the higher those bars are, it means the stronger the signal strength and quality we have. Uh, and then we can also take a glance at some other things here, particularly the bearer rating. Basically, the smaller the number here, so it'll always be a minus, let's we'll say, 0 0.6 or 0 0.7. So it's saying the error rate is 1 per so many million. Okay, uh, and that actually is quite a, a useful reading here as well. Okay. And finally, there's also an audio guide here. So if you come along and you connect the satellite dish uh, up to this meter, uh, initially we'll say there might be no audio signal because you're not picking up uh, anything. But if you come along and you pick up a satellite um, signal on the, on the satellite meter here, what will actually happen is you'll hear a beep. Um, and uh, the stronger the signal becomes, the louder uh, and the faster it'll, it'll beep and it gives you a great indication that you're getting closer and closer to um, the ideal. So if you were heard it beeping louder, louder, louder and then heard it going down a little bit, then you'd know that um, uh, you've gone past the peak point. So it gives a great indication in that way. And uh, finally then you're actually able to go in and view the channels, which I'm going to show in a moment. So what I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to connect uh, a satellite dish, uh, uh, a sky one that's pointed to the Astro 2 satellite, to this here. So the first thing here is we hear this audio here. Now the audio on this well turned down, okay, from its maximum volume. So you can just hear the beeping and you can see the signal strength is around 80 something percent and the signal quality is around 90 something percent, okay, 95 percent or so. Now I've wanted to come along and actually view and the bear rating is minus E minus 07, so one in a, a million or 10 million, whatever. Uh, so if I come along here and hit the F2 button, there's a default setting here which is network search. If I come along and press um, OK on that, and the next thing here is um, search FTA only, yes. So once again, go to the default setting, which in this case is yes, and then press OK. And the next thing will be actually viewing picture. So this has uh, the screen here, has the built-in uh, monitoring. And if I hit the blue button again, it'll give me the list. So you can see this is channel four. And if we move down to the list, we can actually pick out uh, film four, plus one in this case, okay? And we just have a film that's coming up there, okay? And uh, that's it. So you can see anyway, it's quite excellent. So um, it's just an overview of um, how you use this for alignment. But between the, the, the graphic interface, the, the audio, and also the ability to view over screen, it just gives you a very, very powerful tool when you're aligning your satellite dish.